Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can set up the SAP GUI scripting API within Excel in order to communicate uh, through your Excel file to your SAP GUI, to your SAP system and automate tasks and basically also to log in automatically. And um, because here right now um, I have set up on one macro and if I click on this macro, then I will get first of all this, um, this pop-up. Um, which warns me that the script is attempting to access the SAP GUI. I confirm and then I get a next pop-up that basically, yeah, um, a connection will be established. Okay, that's also perfectly fine. But then here the magic happens. I am automatically logged into my SAP system and that is so easy. By the way, if you would like to get rid of the pop-ups, I've made an own video, I will link here. But this is what I would like to show to you within this video you how to establish the SAP GUI scripting API and how to log in with your Excel to SAP system. So here we are. So it's not that difficult. It's kind of like easy. First of all, what you have to do is you have to open up one Excel file that you would like to include the VBA, the Visual Basic Application Code in order to log into your SAP system. And to do this, first of all, you have to make sure that the developer ribbon is available within your Excel file. And if it is not in your case, then under File and Options, under Customize Ribbon, here, if you scroll down, you can set the checkbox to developer, confirm, and then you have also this ribbon because that is what we need. And then you click on the developer ribbon, you click on Visual Basic, then this will open up. So here we have to include our coding. And what we have to do to do is we have to include the SAP GUI scripting API at first. And to do this, you have to go to tools and then preferences. And then you have to uh, check the or select as a big scripting api if for your case that is not available then you can click on browse and then you have to go you to your path where basically uh, the front end as a big gui is installed is saved i'm using the as a big gui 8.00 so the 64-bit version and because here under C program files, SAP front end and SAP GUI, basically, yeah, basically the, the libraries um, and all the DLLs and stuff like that are saved. But if you are using the 32 bit, you have to use a different directory. So the um, directory for your um, 32 bit applications but if you are here in sap front and sap gui then you have to select all the um, files with the extension active x controls so ocx and once you have this then we have to scroll down a little bit to choose sap f e w s e dot ocx so this active X control is needed. Then you click on open to choose this. And then basically you have also included the SAP GUI scripting API. Um, once as you can, as you have seen in my case, I have already done the steps. So basically I just had to select this checkbox, but first you have to include this library to you as well. Then you um, select this, then you confirm with okay. And then basically what you have to do here, I just paste the code that we need. So um, I will explain what, what this code is basically doing. So this code um, is the code you are using in order to automatically log into your SAP system and um, yeah as mentioned here because it's the second case uh, i have already included this coding in my different excel file so i will name this um, to sap login 2 
But basically, yeah, this coding, you can just do a screenshot and then include it in your case. But basically, what uh, is this code basically doing? First of all, it's getting the object for the SAP GUI itself. Then it's checking if basically the SAP GUI is available. So if it's um, it's had um, selected the right properties of this is if that is the case then first of all you will get the scripting engine so that is what basically need to automatically log in so the application if this is also available then you will establish a connection to your system and here you have to um, enter your description unfortunately if i for example open up the sap log and right click and properties unfortunately there is no possibility to use the system id so unfortunately you have really to use the description this is the description for the other platform 1909 trial so this is what you have to enter in here and um yeah then basically as we as we saw you were getting also the the pop-ups um, because a connection is trying to establish and um, also if this connection is available then basically here the magic itself happens to automatically log in so um, yeah you will get the um, connections or the properties in order to uh, put them in so first of all what you have to enter in here is the client in this case here is zero one and then you will enter the sap user and then here the password yeah in raw text and then um, the logon language and then you will hit the enter key and then in my case i just wanted to call a transaction so the data browser in this case and um, by the way for example you can also um, remove the client and the logon language so uh, for example within here you double click then you have also your default client and your default logon language in this case series zero one and english so it's not mandatory in this case to transfer the client in a logon language but if you would like to enter a different client and a different logon language you can also specify those within the vba itself <clears throat> Um, of course there's also some possibilities to um, enter a, a command uh, or you can also enter the password in a different cell in in the excel file itself and um, so you don't have to do this within here but um, yeah just for demo purposes it's the easiest way then i hit Control s to save this and here it's important that you save your excel file with the macro enabled workbook to basically use your macro so that is important so and then i just named this book one that's perfectly fine i save this now i will close this for a second because we are right now here and now i would just like to insert this form control and then i would like to use the logon 2 macro i confirm and basically yeah because um, just for demo purposes that's just uh, fine and if you click on this as i have done i wanted to right click but i left click that's also perfectly fine now um, as you can see the script is attempting to access sap gui confirm confirm and here you have successfully logged into your SAP system. So as mentioned, that's so easy. And if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.